Hello. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, yeah. listen. Ooh. It's it's only five You're days back. late. It's better, right? Yeah. Yeah. You sound less uh, Barry, Barry White. Barry White. Is that what we came up That's with? That's what we decided. Yeah. So, yeah, we're uh, we're actually recording a little bit early because uh, next week's going to be a little different. You're going to be gone for a few days. I have a conference Monday and Tuesday in Kansas City. Yeah, that's... The remote podcasting for us is not a thing yet. That's... Yeah, no. <laughs> it's just too... <laughs> look, there's a lot of technical stuff involved in this, and all those people that do podcasts every week and they're all remote it's like i I just don't know i mean they i I don't know how they do it i haven't figured that out to where it's perfect there's one podcast that i listen to where there's three people two of them have a podcast by themselves the other guy has a podcast by himself but they've joined up to do this one podcast together Mm -hmm. and he remotes in Mm -hmm. and it's been seamless yeah every week except for this most recent week yeah every time he started to talk. You caught the the tail end of of a uh, of an echo oh, okay. from whoever yeah. just finished talking before he started. Yeah. And then when they started talking again, you caught the echo. Yeah. There was some transition lag thing that I, was going. I would on. bet. And this is like one of those big fancy expensive ones where uh, they have like audio techs. Yeah. I'm guessing. This is my guess. Whenever you hear stuff like that their original recording on their side failed and they had to use the one that came through. Right. And cause that's what it seems like, uh, that podcast ATP that I listen to all three, all three of them are separate and how they get it. So seamless is they have three tracks and they basically oh, file share. Got you. And when one track fails to record, they have to use the Skype and supply and the in. Skype is not and as good. good. So do they do like, one big audio synced clap. How do they do that? And you you tell me because there's latency and I don't get that. That's what I don't get. Like if you go okay one two three clap, it's, you hear one two three clap after I say I it. I clap and then uh, just a fraction later you clap. And maybe it's close enough that they're or maybe they just maybe they just take the time at the beginning to get everything to get it right. synced. Yeah, it's magic. Anyway, wizards anyway, we're recording on Friday instead of Monday. Yeah. Long story. So how's your weekend going to be? No, uh, just kidding. Yeah, no, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I've uh, I've got a 10K. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Not, not that dollars. Oh. <laughs> I've got a 10K run. Not, how about 10 kilograms? Of? Uh, you tell me, bro. It's your weekend. <laughs> Could be wild. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a uh, 10K. The uh, Our office puts on a... 10k uh and they donate the money to i believe the harmony house yes and so i decided to sign up this year i haven't signed up before i don't know why being stubborn you've been very stubborn with it and now all of a sudden i'm like i'm not doing it and you're like fine i'm going to i'm like okay whatever (laughs) it was you this whole time whatever i didn't want to compete against you all right yeah so yeah no i'm gonna do that that'll be uh that could be fun yeah uh, or it could be miserable. We'll see. I feel like I'm in decent shape. I'm not in my prime shape because right. I'm 38. But you're in better shape than me right now. Maybe. It depends. On? Well, yeah. Running shape? Okay, fine. Yeah. Fine. Running shape, yeah. You you're eat healthier than me. No, I do not. I eat keto. I eat meat and fat. I eat candy. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's true. I, I'm not eating... I mean, I haven't, like, sworn off sugar, but as a byproduct of being on the keto diet, yeah. I'm not eating sugar right yeah. now, which yeah. is... I am. I'm eating all the sugar that you're not eating. Which is kind of crazy. I'm practicing for Halloween. I've never... <laughs> I've never, like, cut out carbs before. This has been my first foray into that. Yeah, um, you've been doing it for a while. Yeah, like 70 days or so. Oh, God. Something like that. That's, that's I did have a time. cheat five days in a row Yeah, but recently, you know, yeah. and it felt really good. Yeah. But I'm back on. Mm-hmm. And back in the saddle again. So tomorrow for me, yeah. um, my and your alma mater, 
Missouri State. Oh, yeah. it's it's homecoming weekend, which doesn't matter because our football team sucks. Mm. Always has. I didn't know we had a football. I team. think always will. Sports ball. Sports ball. The oh. brown one. Oh. <laughs> Kind of oblong, eyeball shaped. Oh, okay. Big skin. So that's not the important thing. What is important is they've been super cryptically emailing and social media media ing. Sounds good. About this event mm. called "It's On!" Exclamation point. Now, John Goodman, you know the actor. You know John Goodman. Yeah, he's okay. a guy. He didn't he play on Roseanne? He did. Okay. Yeah. Uh he's he's an alma mater, an alum of Missouri State. What? You didn't know that? I had no idea. So he's gonna be there. Really? At it's on. Nice. What is it's on? Don't know. Gonna go. Maybe it's it's on a screen and he's just on a screen. They're just gonna play all the Roseanne shows. Well they're doing it at I th- it's either at Juanita K or at JQH. Um but it's there during the football game. <laughs> they want you to not watch the football game because the football team is that bad. It's going to be awful, right? <laughs> and then after the game's over, it's on is also over, but they're bringing in a bunch of food trucks and beer wagons to like the main mall mm-hmm. um, right there in front of the library, in front of the fountain. Mm. Um, and so, got a babysitter. Nice. My wife's birthday was yesterday. Oh, we already, happy birthday. We already went to a show and did a thing. Yeah. Um, but we've been planning on doing this since we found out about it, and so it'll kind of be like birthday celebration 2.0. Yeah. You know what? You're a better past student than I am. I don't know anything about the college that I went to. All I know is that they gave me some piece of paper that allowed me to get a job. That allowed you to work somewhere. Yeah. So today... I think I want to talk about uh, some Samsung drama. Yes, you do. And you had something? I do. What do you have? Uh, Headphones. Okay. All right. This might be a short episode. Who knows? Maybe. Let's do it. Welcome back to Lunchtime Tech Talk. I'm Chad. And I'm Mike. So, Samsung. Yeah. They had a little drama with their new phones. Uh huh. All the phones. The ten. Phone, yeah. The S ten. Yeah, the ones that have that like fancy. The Chevy S <laughs> ten. Yes. <laughs> the Chevy S ten, not the Silverado version. No, that you know the ones that have that new ultrasonic fingerprint scanner behind the screen, and it's like, ooh. I missed all this. What? Yeah. Really? Okay. On their new ones, they have this fingerprint scanner that's actually behind the screen. That thing that everybody's so talked it's about not, for years. It's not on the back. Nope. It's on the front, it's but there's the front. no button. There's no button. Okay. There's a little indicator from what I have seen. There's a little indicator that comes on the screen to show you where to put your finger. And uh, you put your finger there. And it's not as fast as like regular like touch ID would be. Mm-hmm. Our fingerprint scanner. Because it's got some... Because it uses it, to go through. it uses a it uses like um like ultrasonic. So there's a dolphin under the screen. There's a dolphin that echolocates yeah. the bumps in your <laughs> finger. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Samsung <laughs> captured all the dolphins and put them in your phones. Ultras- if you love the dolphins, you will buy an iPhone. There you go. No, so it's. It's some new type of technology okay. because obviously they can't do the original way through the screen. But there's a lady who. How did it work before? How did how did it, iPhones work? From what I understand, it was kind of like a camera. Almost, okay. That it was taking an image of. I don't know exactly. I just okay. know that it was some type of like camera, and then that metal ring around it was to the sense that your finger was to there. Start it, yeah. To start the process. Yeah. Okay. So this is totally a new way of doing it. Okay. And, of course, Samsung wants to be first, which is fine. Somebody's got to be first. But we know with their face detection thing that they pop up this warning saying, hey, it's not that great. It's not super good, so <laughs> use it at your own risk. Right, because it doesn't do anything three-dimensional. Right. You can just, just a, use a photo. Yeah. And it'll recognize that photo. Exactly. And you're in. Yeah. So now this lady 
had one of the newer phones that had this feature on it and she you know registered one of her thumbs uh-huh. not the other one uh-huh. and she was using it da 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 and then went and bought a two dollar and 49 cent screen protector put the screen protector on and used it and it worked just fine it went through that's good held the phone with her other hand on accident one day and realized that the thumb that is not registered now unlocks her is phone. Is it because her fingerprint grease is on the outside of that original screen protector and that's what it's picking up? I am not sure if that's really what it's picking up or not, but from then on, any of her fingers... Any finger! <laughs> anybody else's finger... Great. ...would work. Great. So, Samsung's advice? Yeah. Take your screen protectors off. Okay. I know what happened. Her fingerprint grease was on her actual screen. Oh. She put the screen protector over that, and it just sealed it in. Have you ever seen, like, on spy movies, they'll use, like, scotch tape? Yeah. Or something yeah, to, that's... like, lift a fingerprint? If that's really what is it that is, what that's happened? insane. Isn't it? Even if it's, like, on top of the screen, even if it's, like, the oils from her fingers, like, are there. Yay, Samsung, you did it again. <laughs> you found out how to do it wrong. <laughs> Poor Samsung. Do I feel sorry for them? Nope. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Exploding phones. <laughs> bad image safety face protection ID. And now a, a fingerprint scanner that works with all fingers. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah, I just... It's weird that just adding a layer of protective cheap glass could make this security flaw so big. Like, re- really? Like... Yeah, so I could steal your phone, put a screen protector on it, yeah. and then get in. Well, maybe, in, yeah. In theory. Yeah, I guess. In theory. I guess. Like, you don't need to already have the the thing installed. I can just put one on it for you. And there's so many people that are like, iPhone is the devil, and they're the worst. I don't and, understand. And I just don't get it. Like, if I'm going to spend seven, eight, nine hundred, a thousand dollars on a phone. Yeah, because it's not like a Samsung's 500 bucks. No. Some of them are, but these sure. aren't. Right. These are expensive. Right. If I'm going to spend that much money, I'm, why not go with the company that, like, is at least trying to do good with security? So, well, we don't need to talk about that. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that's all I had on that was it's just it just boggles my mind that months later after this phone came out, not only does the face detection fail, but you can easily mess up the fingerprint scanner by using a common screen protector. Neato, gang. Sweet. Sweet. So what did you want to talk about again? Have you seen the Google Pixel Buds 2? I have not seen them. I heard about them, but I haven't seen them. So, Google, for whatever reason, has decided that, you know, the circle is their iconic design thing. Yeah. It seems. You know, they've got the G. Yeah. That's a circle. Mm -hmm. All of their uh, Google Home whatevers are circles. Mm -hmm. (coughs) Mm-hmm. They decided to carry that iconic design over to their earbuds. Okay. And I don't like it. Okay. It looks stupid. Is it really that bad? I don't like it. I'm going to have to see these things. I'm, I'm pulling up a picture. Uh, so, five-hour battery life, 24 hours with the case. Okay. Um, about like AirPods. About like AirPods. They are in-ear with okay. silicone. They got the squishy on the end. They got the squishy on the end. Um... One of the things I do like, so you can tap to play or pause. Mm -hmm. You can swipe for volume. Oh, they got gesture control. So that's nice. That is cool. Right? Um, They're supposed to link up super quick and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Similar Um, to like AirPods. Yeah. Okay. The reviews say they're not quite as quick. Um, I wonder if it's because they don't have that designated chip. Yes. Um, they, of course, have the Google Assistant built in, um, so you have access to all the same stuff you would have access to in your home. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the other things I thought was really cool is, like, they have, like, a a translate feature. Oh, that is cool. Built in, so, like, if you were talking to someone Hispanic, Mm -hmm. 
like the video they showed was like the guy just kind of held up his finger for a second and he's like looking off while he's listening and then he goes okay thank you you know so like someone so talked it to him translating. it translated it to him in his ear uh, that is cool technology uh, that's super cool technology. i mean i don't think that i would really use it that often but that is really cool technology if you do a lot of traveling to foreign countries that's awesome so i've told you the good things okay right it's 180 bucks so it's right in between okay. AirPods wireless, non-wireless yeah. charging mode. Here's what they look like. They look like snails. There's four different... <laughs> <laughs> so they have a piece that catches inside the top of your ear. Uh-huh. And then, of course, they go down in your ear. So do they show them on somebody's head? Yes. There's four... I'm, 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 okay, so I'm, 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 I'm saving excited. the reveal. I'm excited. The reveal. Uh, there's four different colors. Okay. They have a mint an orange, and almost black, they call it, and then white. Almost black, interesting. And here is what they look like in your ear. It looks like a gauged disc, but instead of in your lobe, it's in the middle of your ear. Yeah. It, and I don't like it. it. To me, it doesn't look that bad. I just, I am so hesitant on these in-ear headphones i think they'll fall out so that's apparently what the little vippity do little at the nubbin. top is for yeah okay i see that that's got a different angle on it yeah so can you okay so you can get them in almost black do they show them in a person's ear with the black um because that would be so much less noticeable it and it is it's a lot less noticeable all right, so on my phone, it doesn't show them in here. Oh, okay. On the desktop. I like the black ones better. They yeah. look better. On the desktop, you can see people wearing them, yeah. the different colors. But uh, scrolling down through, everybody's wearing white because everybody, well, that guy's got the orange in. Yeah, it, it just makes it easier for photos, I guess. It's right. And everyone wants to be like Apple. Now. With the clean white. Yeah. The white does, like, make a statement. That is an interesting case because most of the ones that are in ear have weird, like oblong cases. Right. That looks closer to what the Apple AirPods are. It is. It's more portrait than landscape. Yeah. Yeah. And I see that they uh, scroll hijack your screen. So they you do. do these yep. animations. Yep. I'm going to say they're not as bad as what I thought they would be. But. But I purposely set them up terribly. <laughs> I do see what you're saying. Yeah. They are, they do look like a gauge in your ear. For yeah. sure, with the white. Or like a, a, just a terrible hearing aid. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. You know? Yeah, I need to see the black ones. I mean, I'm not yeah. going to buy these things. No, right? Let me be honest. I just, I just won't. Not with Apple stuff. So yeah, the only other thing that I didn't say that I had written down is I'm glad that Apple hasn't like locked themselves into some sort of symbol or design. Mm. I mean, <clears throat> I guess in essence they did with the AirPods. They kept the original mm -hmm. EarPod mm -hmm. design and yeah. just cut the cord off. But right. like, but that's kind of nice because you didn't have to get used to something else. Right. I read um, The Verge. Mm -hmm. They had um, Pixel Buds to AirPods and like 17 other in ear, completely wireless headphones mm -hmm. that they were reviewing. Yeah. And as I was scrolling down through there, the worst offender, I didn't even know they had wireless headphones, Microsoft. Oh, oh, were those the ones that are like huge? They're circles? huge. Okay, yeah, those are pretty yeah, bad. Yeah, they're, they're really bad, but they're all of them are like trying to fit in this weird cavity mm -hmm. that we all have. But everybody complains about the shape of the AirPod because everybody has different size ears mm -hmm. and they don't fit my ears. Right. Right? The the shape of that part of your ear would seem to me to be even more widely varied. I would think so too. Like the canal itself should be pretty pretty much standard. Yeah. yeah. But like the trying to get stuff to fit in here seems like it would be even more difficult. I so I, but it I seems like, like there's what so I have. So many people going that way. I know. 
And I don't That's know, what all of them are. And I, as you scroll down through that list, I'll I'll post it in the footnotes. I think it's because they want to do in ear, but they haven't come up with an innovation on how it should be without doing that. Right. And that's why I'm really curious how the new AirPods Pro with the images that we've seen how those will look inside someone's ear because you can't really tell size by I those still pictures. think they're going to go in far enough that you still look at them and you go okay, those are Apple. Yeah. Earbuds, I earbuds, so whatever. Too. What were they called before? Uh, Earpods. Um, yeah, I think so. Okay, earpods. And now they're AirPods. Yeah, because there's no wire. They were called something else before. Um, were they just earbuds? Earbuds, I think, is all they were called. But then, and then they became they had, generic. Then they, came, then they became that different shape that we know of now. Because mm. they used to so just when be they a were circles. circles. Yeah, those were uncomfortable. Yeah, those were just. I think they were like the cheapest thing that they could come up with that yeah and then but then they gave us something that, that fit our ear shape yeah way better yeah well that's interesting i mean I, I love this whole like wired uh wireless world that's coming out with all these headphones it's like pushing the innovation of all of it really yeah far most of them it seems as i was scrolling down through there most of them are five and 24 on battery life mm -hmm. there were a few though um i can't recall off the top which ones but um some of the ones that had active noise canceling mm -hmm. you could either have it on or turn it off mm -hmm. and they were like 5 and 24 or 9 and 36 mm. with it off and they were bigger mm -hmm. so it, i mean it makes sense if you have a bigger piece you can have a bigger battery yeah you can have a longer life. That is the amazing part about Apple's headphones is that they've got these little sticks that store the battery. Yeah. And they really do last a decent amount of time. They really do. The amount of battery that's actually in there. Yeah. Oh, the one other thing about the Pixel 2. Um, it's supposed to have... Uh, I don't know how to say it. But, like, if you get out of your car which is quiet, and then walk into, like, a, a, a busy place mm -hmm. with lots of hustle and bustle. It's supposed to sense the ambient noise mm -hmm. and turn your volume up for you. Oh. Or if you, like, walk out of that place, out onto the street, and it's quiet, it should it should turn it back down. Oh, it's kind of like the auto volume control in my car. Like, when I accelerate, the volume slightly goes oh, up. Oh, really? And then whenever I get to a stoplight, it goes down because they know that there's no road noise. Right. Yeah. Huh, I have to do all that manually still. Mm. <laughs> I had it off for a long, long time. And then it was mainly when I was listening to music. But since I listen to podcasts, I kind of have them not at a loud level anyways. Uh -huh. So whenever I do accelerate it, it puts it up at the right volume. Nice. But, nice. Which is nice. Yeah, that's handy. So that's all. Yeah, that's all I have. That was mostly Pixel 2. Pixel Buds 2, but a little bit of other headphones yeah so what's headphones. the date that this is coming out on spring 2020 i mean the podcast oh <laughs> but those two <laughs> the date that this will release is yes. halloween october 31st okay so the next day apple tv plus service comes out that's right that friday yeah so don't forget you might get it for free hey that's right yeah buy a thing if you haven't already. <laughs> yeah. Buy something from Apple. Buy something Support from them. Apple. Support them. They're a struggling Support. company. <laughs> Is their cash over or under a trillion right now? I don't know. Or no. But if it's... Or a billion. Even if What's it's What's the just, level? It's, it's a billion, not a trillion, I right? think it's a trillion. Their valuation gets to a trillion, but their cash on hand. Oh, I have no idea. Either way, if it's under or over whatever number you're going to come up with, they're struggling. <laughs> they're struggling. <laughs> struggling company. They're just, they're just trying to make ends meet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's all I got. That's all I got. Crazy tech. A little crazy tech. Yeah. Okay. This is full of cheese, but give me 35 seconds and we'll be through it. It's a beautiful day for a tech podcast. A beautiful day for a tech pod. Let us record. Can we record? It's a beautiful day to talk crazy tech. A beautiful day to talk crazy. Let us record. Can we record? I have always wanted to have a tech pod just like this. I've always wanted to broadcast from a car with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, won't you please 
won't you please, please won't you be our patrons? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I feel like I need like a juice box and some animal crackers. Crisscross applesauce spoons in your bowl. <laughs> yep. Oh man, you are way too creative. <laughs> So won't you be our patrons? Oh, that is so good. Yes, it's good. That's a good one. That was, I, that was left field. I honestly had. Totally. I would have never have guessed out of a, if I had a million songs to guess from, that wouldn't have I bet I'll do Mr. Rogers yeah. at some point. <laughs> it seems, at some point, he's going to get around to Mr. Rogers. You know what's more amazing than that song? What's more amazing the than that? The fact that I have a crazy tech. Oh, weird. Yeah, and I had it before we got to the car. Weird. Yeah, very odd. I'll go first. Thank you. All right. Uh, so, Amazon mm -hmm. is going to do some crazy stuff to compete with other big box companies that are starting to do shipping. They are going to have a line of products, and I haven't seen the list of products I have just heard about this, that they're going to have a line of products that are going to be a dollar, one dollar or less. And it's supposedly going to be things like toiletries, like toothpaste and I don't know, make, maybe makeup um, and some other small like things that would be like normally under a dollar at a store typically. And they're going to get it to you next day. And you don't have to buy more than one. You don't have to buy like $25 worth of something. You could buy a 75 cent thing of toothpaste. And they'll get it to you tomorrow. And they'll get it to you tomorrow. Huh. They are. Because they have some like super cheap stuff, super cheap stuff on their site. But like some of it's add-on. What mm -hmm. do they call it? Yeah. The add-on where you have to do like what? Like you can't buy this product unless you have $25 worth of stuff in your cart. Yes. And which makes sense, right? Sure, but I get um, I get tricked by those from time to time. I do too. I'll like click on a thing, and I'm like, yeah, I'm totally gonna order that, and then I'm like, oh, this is an add-on. Gotta buy something Shoot. else. Yeah, and it's like fifteen bucks. I've never ordered an add-on item. Really? Really? I've done it just because. Well, one time I wanted to order something, and I was like, I don't really need anything else, and it was like a fifteen dollar item. And I needed to get over 25. So I called my wife and I was like, hey, is there anything, you need anything? that we need for the house that I can order on Amazon because I want to order this? And she's like, oh, yeah, we need these things. And I was like, cool. I was like, I'm going to go ahead and order them on Amazon so I can get my item. Easy enough. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I have been tricked by the add on items before. Yeah. yeah. But apparently, this is just going to be like, it's a dollar or less. Order it. We'll get it to you. Apparently, there's a lot of people that are like, upset about it because of the environmental impact because you're shipping something possibly across the United States if not further for like a dollar yep yep <laughs> just starting up the truck to deliver it costs more than a dollar so, yeah it, but it, so so here's the thing yes they're gonna offer that and yes some people are gonna take advantage of it mm-hmm um, but they also offer that, um, my day shipping. Hmm. Do you know what that is? Uh -uh. So you can go on there and designate that I only want to receive products on Thursdays. Oh, that's cool. I have heard of that. And so like, as you go through the week and you place orders and place orders, mm -hmm. like they just kind of rick up and then they put them in one box and then they're good. Or as, as few boxes as possible. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get all your stuff on Thursday. So it's it's making it possible for you as the consumer to try to lessen your environmental yeah. impact mm -hmm. with all of this shipping and stuff. Yeah. And so I actually think that that's probably how people are going to end up doing this dollar under kind of staples. You hope. You hope. Because, like, my wife and I have gotten to wear, like, Saturday is our day to go grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. We get the kids up, we get them fed, we get in the car, and we hit up two or three stores, and then we go home. Mm -hmm. And so, if I can avoid buying toothpaste and yeah. you know those little things, Just get it because that's on Friday, because that's one of our stops. Mm -hmm. We go to Sam's for most stuff, yeah, and then we hit a Walmart or an Aldi for like the things that we don't need, yeah. 
25 of. Exactly. Toothpaste and such. And so, yeah, yeah, if we could kind of avoid that day of the week, or that extra stop. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, they're really trying hard to, like, compete with, like, the likes of, like, a Walmart. Because yeah. Walmart's trying to get up there. They're mm-hmm. doing some pretty cool stuff. I'm not a huge fan of Walmart, except for all their initiative down in Bentonville with the mountain bike trails. Right. But all in all, it's just a giant store. And I really don't like going in giant stores. Yeah. But they are doing some pretty cool stuff with the online delivery and the grocery pickup and all that stuff. And now Amazon's going to be doing this more aggressively. It might encourage somebody to be like, oh, these things are only a dollar. Well, I'll just get like, I'll get like 10 items that I need. And so Walmart, kind of the rough average across the nation for most companies for profit margin, most companies make three or four up to five or six cents on the dollar. Mm. Walmart, the last few years, has been making around a penny on the dollar because they're putting the investment into their online Mm, stuff. So their margin, and they've done it to themselves, trying to get low and 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 appeal and compete with Amazon. Right. But like, if Amazon's gonna punch back, like Walmart doesn't really have anywhere else to go unless they want to go negative. Right. Which they could afford to for a couple of years. I just wonder how long how how long this battle could go on before somebody breaks. Yeah. Somebody's gonna break. Yeah. And in the meantime, we benefit. As yeah. consumers. Yeah. Hopefully, we do. Hopefully, like, the whole battle doesn't, like, make one of them crumble. And That's then why the I other said one... in the meantime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... It... Once there's a monopoly, who knows? Yeah. But, um, But for now... Can't we just all get along? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what's your crazy tech? My crazy tech is the Wicked Bone Smart Bone. What? You see that little puppy? Oh, it's puppies? for a dog. You see that little puppers? Okay. I'm okay. Tell me about this. Because okay. you know I love my dog. Yes, you do. So that middle part is hard plastic and has some hardware hardware built in. But the the edges of the bone are uh, chewable, like silicone, and they're wheels. So the bone, like the bone can rolls move? around the floor. So it's got nine kind of programmable uh, things that it'll do. Uh huh. Um, and that's like at the top part of the app. Okay. But if you actually want to play with your dog, the bottom part is a touchpad. Oh. And so you can drive the bone. Nice. And so, um, but if you want it to just be like a thing for your dog while you're gone during the day, mm-hmm. you can like set it up to where like, uh, you kind of tell it how big the area is. Mm-hmm. So like your living room, Okay. you kind of tell it how big the area is what kind of surface it's on, Mm -hmm. hard or soft, and then you pick, like, speed and sensitivity. Mm -hmm. And so, like, it'll just lay there until your dog comes up and, like, pause it. Oh. And then it'll, like, wake up and, like, take off and do little things or whatever. And so your dog has, like, a companion during the day. And they can also just sit and chew on the wheels. So, okay, the middle has electronics in it. Yeah. Like how... It's very hard plastic. How hard, though? Because They my, showed some pretty big dogs using it. Okay, because my like, parents' Like a dog, normal size golden retriever. Yeah, it's a big dog. It's got a good bite. You See, know? my parents have a min pen, which is tiny dog yeah. in comparison to a golden retriever. Mm-hmm. But it chews like a velociraptor. Right. <laughs> it can destroy right. everything. Where my dog doesn't destroy anything. I could buy this for my dog and it would last 75 yeah. years. The wheels you can take off and wash. And they're also replaceable. So this shows white, but they had colors too. Mm-hmm. Um, and so if they do end up, you know, tearing up a wheel, you can take that off and replace it. So what? Uh, what's the cost of something like this? Ninety nine dollars. Oh my gosh! Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I can't. You can't. Can't I, do if it. If it was twenty five, I would consider it. Ninety nine bucks. Ninety nine bucks. Are there any deals out there? Are there any different sizes? Like, do you get a discount for a smaller bone? One size bone. But Wicked Bone, the company, had... They also have, like, a Wicked Ball and Ooh. some other stuff. And well, I didn't look at those. I wonder how much the ball is. Probably cheaper. 
that I have seen the ball, a ball that would roll around on, by itself, and I wonder if it's made by that company. So there's a cat with the wicked ball. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look that up. So anyway, that was kind of crazy. I think my dog would probably. I think my dog would like the ball if it's not too aggressive. As my dog, as well, you and know, that's is the tiny. thing. You can you can slider set some of that stuff. Okay, because my dog's tiny. And I've got a racquetball. And racquetballs oh, are yeah. relatively hard. Rel- yeah. But it's it seems to be somewhat of a softer one. And I'll bounce it to her, near her. And if I bounce it more than a foot off the ground, she kind of hunkers. But if it's like less than a foot, she kind of gets playful with it. Uh-huh. She just doesn't want to get hit in the face with a right. racquetball. Racquetballs hurt. <laughs> nobody, nobody wants to get hit in the face with a racquetball. This is true. Well, that is cool. I like I like that. That is that is fun. Yeah. And I wish it was a little bit cheaper. Sure. I'm going to have to check out the ball, see how much the ball is. Because if I could get it for like 25 bucks, it would be a fun little, you know, Christmas present for her. Not that she really knows what Christmas is, but, <laughs> you know, I like to pretend she knows all these things. Right. Well, because your dog's super smart. She's probably at home listening to the podcast right now. Probably. She said, Roo. Yes, that's exactly how she sounds. It's more like... (laughs) And that translates to, Alexa, tell me the news. Isn't that what you programmed us to play crazy talk? I I can't remember what it was. I don't don't even know if that still works. (laughs) Well, that's a good crazy tech, because that is definitely crazy. And I'm going to have to look at that and look at the reviews. Before we end, Mm -hmm. we haven't done jokes in a while. Oh, we haven't done jokes in a while. So I have a joke. All right. (laughs) So country music is, I'm going to live and die in my hometown. Smiley face. And punk music is, I'm going to live and die in my hometown. (laughs) Face. (laughs) This is so true. (laughs) That's that's 100%. I don't remember who tweeted it, but I saw that in a tweet one day. I gotta get out of this town. I gotta get Not out of here. Not if you listen to country music. Not if, I'm right here. Roots. Roots, baby. <laughs> uh, anyway. You can find us on the internet at lunchtimetechtalk.com. Yep. You can find us on social media, Lunchtime Tech Talk. Mostly on Twitter, if you're looking for me. Mostly on Instagram, if you're looking for Mike. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a Patreon page. Won't you be our patrons? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. You can also find us on YouTube and probably other random places. Yeah. I haven't Googled us in a little while. I've looked at the, like, little... I get this... I, I can't remember where it was that I, I was looking at the statistics of where we get downloaded. It's probably Podbean. And there's some weird places. Yeah? They must just be grabbing the we RSS are. feed. Yeah. We are on Google Play. Yeah. I know that for sure. Yeah. Because I had a buddy subscribe last night. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Buddy. When you become a patron, I'll shout out your name. Yeah. <laughs> we might do it for a couple episodes. Shout out your right? name. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at MSU Mac and also now on Zwift at MSU Mac. And we have a ride tonight. Yes, Eight we o'clock. do, but it's not Shit. tonight. It's not tonight. <laughs> it's last Friday. It's, hey, but we might have one tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah, we might. We might. So turn on your Apple TV Plus subscription. Yes. And ride with us tonight. November 1st. Yes. Because we're definitely having another ride tonight. Yes. Because the last one was super successful. 100%. Lots of people showed up. Tons. So many that we can't name them all because it's not legally allowed. Exactly. (laughs) So, okay, so here's the deal. Tell me the deal. Apparently, we can only invite 50 people. Yeah. So, I'm... I'm kind of like torn because a lot of the people I follow on Zwift are from overseas. Uh huh. So if you're from overseas and you don't get an invite for tomorrow, please don't take it personal. It's I just also, assume you're in bed because it's yeah, at eight o'clock it's at 8 night. It's eight p.m. Central, which means it's like four in the morning. Yeah, but if you do want an invite, 
Let definitely us know. let me know. Let us know if you're an early riser. Yes. And if you're on Zwift and you listen to this and you don't follow either Chad or myself, just jump on Zwift and follow us. Yeah. And um, easy. Depending... Who are they looking for on there? Uh, they're looking for you. They're looking for Run Bike Mike because um, that's what I am everywhere except that's right. for Twitter. Stupid Twitter and the <laughs> stupid underscore gang. <laughs> there you can find me at run underscore bike underscore Mike. Yeah. Everywhere else, run bike, Mike. Yo, br- Where br- do they find you on Zwift? MSU Mac. MSU Mac. MSU M A C C. So if you friend us on there, we will know that you're listening to this podcast. That's true. Uh, and that you like to ride bikes. Yes. We'll know those two things about you. Yeah. 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 Those are two awesome things. Those are two awesome things. Yeah. All right. I think that's it. I think so too. Did we? Did we get it all? We beat the bells. We I know beat that the much. bells. <laughs> Hashtag goals. <laughs> yes. Hashtag love your old tech. <laughs> yes, please do. It's sad without you. I actually got a lot of comments yesterday at, around the office. Yeah. Uh, from people who hadn't listened yet but saw it pop up in their feed, and they were like, "Hashtag love your old tech." Are you talking about like my iPhone six that I'm still rocking? And I'm like, "Yeah, bro. If that's what you want it to be, hashtag love your old tech. It's whatever you want it to it's be. Whatever you want it to be. Could be your VCR." It, Speaking of that, oh boy! So we might not beat the bells. <laughs> we have a young professional committee here, and we have a a new big uh, network expansion project coming. Mm-hmm. And he was saying that, and he's our age, the guy that's heading this up. He was saying that he got together with some other couples over the weekend, and one of them still has a VCR, nice. and they put in some sort of Disney movie for the kids Mm -hmm. and he said when he got home his kids were freaking out like why don't we have a VCR dad like it's the new thing that's so cool why don't we have one yet and he was like kids that's 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 old because it's only designed to be on a 30 inch TV (laughs) right (laughs) I never even thought about that it would be so grainy oh my god! if you blew it up on your 60 inch well it's like Nintendo 64 I bought one years ago right like because somebody was like I'm gonna sell this do you want it and I was like sure I'll pay you 20 bucks for it and came with all kinds of games and controllers and I was like this is gonna be awesome and then I put it on the 60 inch TV and I was like this is terrible. I should have never have done this. It's yeah. just ruined my childhood. Uh huh. Yeah. Because you thought it was good. I thought it when was you amazing. Were a kid. Yeah. 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 No, totally. Anyway, that's that's enough digression. All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this, and we will see you next week. Thanks for sharing your lunch with us. Bye. Bye.